She was at a crosswalk on her way to school when she was hit. Now she's in the hospital with a traumatic brain injury. Off the top tonight at 11, that 12 year old Julia Wallace uh, wasn't far from Roseville Middle School when a car hit her Tuesday morning. Tonight, her family is calling for changes, wanting to make sure that this doesn't happen to another child. Our Sean Lay is live in Roseville where it happened. And Sean, let's start with how Julia is doing tonight. That's the most important thing tonight. Her family telling me they are hoping, frankly, for a miracle. They're also hoping for more safety changes for other kids outside of Roseville Middle School right here at the crosswalk where it happened in the form of signs, lights and crossing guards. Julia's aunt taking the time to sit down with me tonight. We're not giving up hope. We have faith. Precious life changing in an instant for Julia Wallace and for everyone who loved watching Julia grow from sweet little girl to smart loving 12 year old Julianne de Blau is Julia's end. We are going to fight for her until whatever happens happens. Tina Wallace is Julia's mom. Tuesday morning. She told Tina that morning she was OK to walk to school because Tina checked to make sure like everything was OK with that other accident that was happening. A half mile away, an officer involved shooting in a massive investigation. Traffic was diverted right past Roseville Middle School. Julia was in the crosswalk when a driver hit her, resulting in a traumatic brain injury. Even if she wakes up and all of her organs are, she's in stable condition other than her brain. We're really sad that she's not here to perform with us tonight. Julia is in the school band. Last night, the band had her chair waiting for her. We're in her corner and we're sending all of our positive vibes. For them to take the time out and to leave her chair open while they played because she loved it so much so much. And then there is a mom this family has never met. Tina Edgel, who held Julia in the street after she was hit, and she has worked nonstop to get Roseville to revamp safety for this crosswalk. God bless her. That's what I can say. The high school has crossing guards and these younger kids don't. No, it's wrong. She does not want this. She does not want what all this that Julia is now going through to be in vain. Back here live, Roseville's police chief confirming with me tonight there's going to be a meeting next week on Wednesday to talk about the different safety features that will be now added to this crosswalk. No stop signs here, traffic flows through, so expect changes here for safety for the kids that do cross here. Also, family dealing with a lot, guys. A GoFundMe has just been established. We're going to link that to our website. Click on Detroit.com. There's a vigil for Julia. It's a Veterans Memorial Park Sunday at 8:15. Back to you. Certainly praying and thinking about young Julia tonight. Sean, I'm wondering though, will that driver, do we know, will they face any charges? Ask the chief that here in Roseville that tonight. It's all still under investigation. The driver did stop, is cooperating with police, but mm -hmm. it's unclear how exactly this accident happened right here at the crosswalk. So yeah. more investigation needs to be done. Indeed. Okay. Sean, thanks.